Hi everyone, welcome to Cactus Caffeine. For those of you who are returning subscribers, hi again. And for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my hobby of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So if you like cactus um, and other succulents such as aloes, how worth yes. uh, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification um, and join me in my journey of growing these beautiful plants in a desert environment so today i have these um cacti again and these are the ones that i bought recently in um my fall plant haul video so if you haven't seen that video i will go ahead and put a link on the upper right corner of your screen so you can go ahead and see um i did a haul video as well as a little tour of the nursery where i got all these beautiful plants right here and a lot more so these are just some of them what i want to show you guys today is what i do with the plants after I buy them from the nursery or from the big box stores. So I buy like this ones. I bought them in a two inch pot. So some of them are obviously getting too big for the two inch pot. So um, I need to repot them. Well, whether or not they're big for the pot, I do repot them after buying them from the nursery so let me just show you the soil that they come in when i buy them from the nursery okay so i took one out of its pot looks like this doesn't have soil at the bottom but anyway it has a good root system so but the soil if you can see the soil that they use this is dry now so it's it's very compact so in the soil i do see a lot of perlite some sand and i think what they use is a lot of peat moss in it okay here are all of them out of their pots and all of them all of the soil pretty much look the same Although they do have a very good root system, especially this one. Look at this mellow cactus and all those roots, although it is very much compact. So what I am going to do is I am going to wash off some of the soil so I can free up the roots. I have my bucket of water here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash off the roots and get as much of the soil off as I can. You don't really need to take all of the soil off from the roots. Like, um, well some does do really bare root but in my case I don't find it necessary to go really bare root. What I just want to do is loosen the roots and take off some of the soil so that um, the new soil can, can penetrate in the middle of the root ball. Here they are now all washed up but like I said I don't go a hundred percent bare root so I just take out as much soil as I can and um, a little bit of the old soil attached to the roots is not bad so the soil that it came in may not be the best but it's not bad either so um, a little bit of soil attached to the roots is okay for me and as long as I can see that the roots are now loose and there are spaces in between the roots, that is fine with me. That means uh, new soil and water will be able to penetrate 
in between the roots so what i am going to do right now is just leave these guys out for a few days until they are completely dry so i like to do that just to prevent root rot because as you can see these guys went through a lot of bath today so they got a lot of soaking so to um prevent root rot i would want them to dry up completely before i pot them up in new soil all right it has been three days so these um cacti the roots in the soil are all dry now so i am ready to pot them up i am going to use uh, terracotta pots um if you've been watching my channel you know i love using terracotta pots because um well for one they're very porous so it will prevent root rot and also in my environment plastic pots don't really last they um with the heat they become very brittle and break and also yes they sometimes melt and so i like using terracotta pots many of you have been asking me what type of soil mix do i use and i always say i just use a regular cactus soil mix and that is because i am fortunate to find a commercially sold cactus soil mix that really works good for my plants and i like the blend very much so this is the type of uh, soil that i buy so i'm going to show you the brand so this is the type of soil that i use and i found it very very effective and i've been using it straight out of the bed so i'm going to show you maybe one or two uh, cactus that i will repot so i'll start with this one it's the easiest one to handle without gloves <laughs> So just make sure you maintain the level of the soil where they're at before in their previous pot. Just give it a light tap to make sure there's no air, big air pockets underneath the cactus or else when you water it, it will just start sinking okay so that is one and then let's do another one so this is a parodia. Even, even though I've been working with cactus for years, guys, I still haven't mastered the art of holding a cactus without gloves. <laughs> so I see a lot of, you know, other people repotting without gloves and I really admire them because I don't know if they get poked or not, but me, I, I can't do it. I always get poked by the spines. If you find the cactus too deep, you can like gently wiggle it up and start pulling it gently upwards and then you can add more soil into it
I always tell everybody the type of soil mixture that you should use really depends on where you live. Uh, for me, this soil mixture works because I live in a desert where it's very dry and very arid. But for some of you, this soil mixture might still be too rich, especially if you live in a country that's humid or where it rains a lot. You might want to add more grit into your mixture. So add more maybe rocks, pumice or sand and less organic material. If I have some cactus that are more rot prone, I add um, a little more grit material into it. So like for this one, I am going to add some more pumice into this mix. So next, I will be potting up this mellow cactus as a reus. So mellow cactus is more rat prone. So I'm going to use this mix that I did where I added more pumice into it. So here's all of them all potted up now. I will not be watering these guys because it is fall right now and it's getting cooler at night. So the soil that I use is also a little bit moist. So I'm going to be leaving them as is. I won't water them. They had a good bath or a good amount of watering when I washed off the soil. So they'll be fine. As for the top dressing, um, I used top dressing on this one just to show you how it looks and how I do it I do use top dressing guys but it is optional like especially if you have a good soil such as this one this doesn't have any top dressing on it but since the soil already has those uh, volcanic rocks that looks really nice you can um, do away with uh, the top dressing all right so I hope you guys will give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and so until my next video again guys, goodbye and cheers!